You know, I bet a lot of you guys have pets. I love pets. I have a dog, Nikki. She's really amazing. And uh, before her, Lexi. Before Lexi, I had Blaze. Blaze was a cool dog. He was 110-pound Doberman. He was really awesome. He was my pal when I was growing up. And then Lexi was amazing, like a Whippet boxer mix. She was gorgeous. Uh, a little little thing. And uh, about 35 pounds. And then Nikki's this little, like, nine-pound ball of energy. She's like me. She's like, uh, really cool. And um, the hardest part about the pets is is that when you go out for the day, are they fed? Are they walked? Are they okay? What are they doing? And I know that there's a lot of technology out there that you thought about, like, I don't know. Maybe this would work. And then there are pet cams. And pet cams are cool, but really, what are you going to do with that? Uh, because you can only do one thing. You can play with them or talk to them or look at them. But you can't really, like, do other things. You can't feed them if they're hungry. You can't give them treats. You can't tell them they're good and here's a treat like you would do if you were home. And I think that that's where the problem lies. And so David has solved that with his new product, the Petsy. Thank you for coming on. Uh, thank you for having me. You've got a dog cam or cat cam, I guess, and you can load this with dog treats or cat treats. And it's an, a device that will feed your dog. Uh, treats or your cat, your pet, right. treats, which I just love this. I know my wife's going to go nuts over this because, you know, we're super into animals. We love it. We want to treat them really, really good. And I think a lot of people out there do. And now this is a way to treat your pet better. Yeah. You and know, you worry less because the worry is there, right? Like the pet could probably survive without a treat. But you you sit there and you worry. And you're like, oh, maybe we should not do this extra errand. We should run home. Uh, you know, that, that separation anxiety is really a, one of the main pain points in the pet owner relationship. And there's over 80 million homes in the U.S. that have a pet, uh, and that would be cat, dog, or both, uh, accounting for that 80 million homes, which is more than have children, uh, which in and of itself seems surprising, but not really, because if you have children, you probably have a pet. Right. If and if you, you don't, don't have, have children, your pet are probably your children. And that speaks to the change in, in the dynamic between the pet owner relationship. And it's, it's really changed over the past decade uh, through you know, this digitized life that, that we all lead. We're finding that affection, that, that touch, that, that unconditional love in our pets more and more. You know, they eat special diets, they, you know, they sleep in our beds, you know, they, of course, rule our homes. They really do. Yeah. I mean, I, I just got a text that I have to leave here and go give Nikki uh, some dinner. <laughs> there you no, go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I mean, that is a concern. You have yeah. to make sure the pets take care of it. And it's great. And they do rule our lives. And it's okay because they're wonderful and they're great companions and they're good. And they're just like, you, you know, you want to treat them really well. Um, but now you can treat them better. And you can also still continue to treat yourself good. Uh, so the pet seat, why don't we show it off on camera and then sure. walk me through the different features. Um, and, and it's available next month, right? Exactly. Available in July. Pre-order now on uh, Amazon and we begin shipping in the 15th of July. But very simple device and, and simple concept. Again, you know, our best friend is our pet and you know, our second best friend is our smart device. Why not connect the two? You know, the pet industry is, is so f behind the times and as it rela relates to technology. So basically the Petsy Tree Cam is very simple. You bring it home, uh, you, it comes with a six foot uh, cord, so you plug it in. You can mount it multiple different ways, either using Velcro straps to strap it to a banister on a staircase. I see it's got also a traditional a wall mount. Y yeah, wall mount. Uh, but what we found is that most people use the rubber feet and put it on a countertop or on a bookshelf, actually. Or, or even the floor, maybe. You could yeah, do that, well, too. Well, it depends on your pet. Sure. You know, some dogs, you know, putting a box of treats on the floor well, while yeah. you're not there might not be the best I, idea. I think Blaze would have... Uh, he yeah, that, that <laughs> <laughs> depends yes. on your it depends on your pet. I'll tell you a funny story real quick. Uh, we came home from a steakhouse one night, leftovers, uh, with Blaze, and uh, he took it. He took the leftovers out of somebody's hand, like in the <laughs> and, and destroyed the container and everything. Two seconds later, and it, it was basically an entire steak, completely devoured, like a he human. Would well, eat. that yeah. night. We couldn't even get to him fast enough. Yes, that's very true. So yes, you're right. So on the counter for a lot of pets or yeah. hanging on a wall, but then for, like Nikki could handle this on the floor. Well, and you know, so basically you download the app, yeah. iOS or Android app. It, and it's, it's Wi-Fi. And it's Wi-Fi. The app walks you through connecting it to your home Wi-Fi. Okay. Place it wherever is convenient for you and your pet and you fill it with your pet's favorite treats. And we designed it in a way, we worked with pet behavioralists, pet trainers to ensure that not only would it be safe, but it, it would be fulfilling to the pet as well. 
you know, we really wanted to create a, a connection that was mutually rewarding, that benefited both the pet and the owner in a meaningful way. And you know, we take that responsibility very seriously. So in doing so, we designed it that it will accept treats of any size less than a quarter. So you take a quarter out of your pocket, and if the treats- Any size less than a quarter. Sure, so if it's, if basically- Because I see on the box there, you've got big like dog biscuits, but it'll take something less than a quarter, which are these small treats we give Nikki because she's a small dog. Yeah, well, you're using uh, treats, and again, it's a treat can, more so than a feeder. It's, it's more of a rewards-based system. So even a large dog will, you know, enjoy a, a milk bone mini per sure. se, as being a, a treat and something that's I like, wonderful. I like this a lot. And then you can have two-way communication. You can speak back sure. and forth. And the dog, you can get the, have you ever gotten your dog to speak? I, with Lexi, we used to go <laughs> speak and, and tap our, our throat. And then she go, ruff, ruff. I have not gotten that really? to happen oh, it's yet. Very I haven't impressive. tried that's that, my, I'll have to try it. That's all my wife, Jill. She's like oh. the dog whisperer. She's really good with the dogs. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. So yeah, it's really simple. You, you know, again, you place it where you'd like it. Yep. And then from anywhere, at any time, you log in on the app and the device emits a cute little jingle. And that jingle's basically Pavlov's bell. Right. It, it alerts the pet that, hey, I'm going to communicate with my owner and I'm going to get a treat. Wow. So they're there every time you log on. They're standing there waiting. And you speak to them, and we built in a really strong audio system so that it recreates your voice in a very lifelike way. More Excellent. so than your cell phone speakers or you know speakers on a tablet or the like. Sure. So you speak to your pet, and we all have our pet voice. It's a little bit higher and a little. Let bit me hear more your pet fun. voice. <laughs> Gosh, I'll have What's to your think pet's about name? Uh, Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Yeah, and he's, right, a, and he's a small chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, so how do you talk to Mr. Big? Biggie, Biggie, hey buddy, come here buddy. Biggie. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we've all, so good. We all do it, I know. we all do it. Uh, so, come here Nikki, and come here Nikki girl. It, and you can't do it without smiling. Yeah, it's so very true. You're talking to your pet, and you know they react, and science shows that a, a dog and even a cat, they acknowledge and recognize their owner's voice. It, it, it resonates with them. So you can also take pictures and ultimately short videos to share socially. Wow. Put them on Facebook, Instagram, Vine, as well as our own social pet work, which is basically a Facebook just for pets. I like that. And then thing. at any time, you push the button and it launches a treat out. And that's really important because from a behavioralist standpoint, it needs to be fun and a game for the dog. And it's just like playing fetch. They get back and they can't wait, they know it's coming, so they stand back and they don't know which way it's going to go or how far it's going to go, so it makes it fun for them. That's pretty cool. And then they get that treat and you both feel good. What's it going to retail for? Uh, $169.99. I love it. And, and, and how did you think of this? Uh, you know, it actually was my partner's idea. He was involved in, in a bunch of different technology things and you know basically told me about this one and i said you know wow that's that's worth quitting my job for and 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 starting a company around and you know basically he he, he recognized this void of of pets not being on the net without human interaction and involvement it's so great it's so important um you know, the late, great Joan Rivers, who I really like, yes. uh, she would make her, her, her people, uh, her assistants and stuff, when she was on the road, put the phone up to the dog and talk to the dog. Exactly. And uh, yeah, I think this is just a great idea. I really do. I'm so excited to get one uh, for Nikki. And uh, maybe we could even put treats in there for Adam and see if he'd fetch them. What yeah. do you think? <laughs> yeah, well, we're, we're working on a teenage version, and that spits out 20s. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a pretty good idea. I think they have one of those. It's called an ATM? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, and also, or dad. I was going to say dad's wallet? <laughs> yeah, or dad. Right. But, uh, but no, but they, this would be, I, I love this. I can't, was, I, seriously. What was really neat in all the research that we did, and the separation anxiety and the wanting to check in and feel better are all important, but what really resonated in the focus groups was that people thought it'd be fun. Yeah. They thought it'd be a smile. It'd be you know a ray of sunshine in their day. I think we need. Uh, I need one for Nikki and one for Madison, uh, my in-laws' dog. Uh, yeah, this is amazing. So this the idea really was to make it. It's all about fun, and yeah. it's all about the. We're not selling this package. We're selling the experience that the package enables. So you know? I, I mean, you you quit your job to do this. That's yeah. that's a pretty bold move. There's got to be some entrepreneurial spirit running through your veins. Uh, wh what's your story, man? Uh, Dave, tell me. When you were a kid, do you just? I mean, my first thing was I wanted to start a bike car wash. You know, like not right. a, a bike wash, right? 
And my parents thought I was nuts, and they were like, oh, the, the people will try and, like, it you know, because you have to do it on the street, and then they're not going to stand there and watch me the whole time. And they were like, well, I lived in an apartment, so it wasn't like I could just do this in the front yard or something. <laughs> Somebody would take me or something, so they didn't let me do that. But there was that entrepreneurial spirit running through my blood from the beginning. So what's your, what's your story? It has to be at a young age, Yeah, right? same thing. You know, started with a paper route. You know, uh, have always been uh, been a creator of, of businesses. In high school, I started and built a, an amusement park. You built an amusement with park? A, with a close friend of mine. What, uh, really? Yeah, that was one of those, those you know, uh, spring breaks in Myrtle Beach when uh, we rode the go-karts and how much fun it had till we were broke. And then we sat and watched people keep getting in line. And it was like, well, we should do this. So we went back home here in uh, western New York and Watkins Glen and, and started a go-kart track that over a decade turned into a full-blown amusement park. Wow. So, and how much did you start it with? Uh, you, uh, both of our dads uh, basically cut us a loan for 20 grand. Wow. And uh, we started it with that, paid them back, and you know got bank loans and just grew it. It was a perfect for college kids because yeah. clothes during the, the school year only open in the summers. So at school, we would just do our you know, research papers on a new jungle golf. Our professor would help <laughs> us you know, do the research. You, you know, have like a team of yeah, kids who were like then, part of your group. Oh, they're yeah. working on then it with you. Then you get an A on it, and you take it home and do it. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be <laughs> like, you know, I've got a great idea. Why don't we do a jungle golf? Yeah. Oh, that's my new idea. And the kids are like, oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, that'll be good for the paper. And they don't know you're making a business out yeah, of it. Exactly. Really making money. Yeah, really that's doing a cool it. story. Uh, and, and then, um, and then you go, and Watkins Glen has a great racetrack, yeah. by the way, like for real racing. I love go-karts, by the way. Is it still there? Do you still own it? Still there. No, I sold it. Actually, okay. I gifted it to my parents yeah. earlier in my life, and they, they actually sold it and retired off wow. of it. Um, I love um, go-kart tracks. Yeah. I would have loved to have, have gone there. All right, so then what What? Uh, then what'd you do from there? You just became a serial entrepreneur? Well, yeah, just I graduated, got in the video game industry. Video um, game industry, yeah. SA. Yeah. Whoa. Was involved hey. in that early on. What and, and doing what for uh, who? As a as a sales rep initially. Okay. Uh, for all the different manufacturers. Then Sony hired me away when they launched the PlayStation. Sure, I've heard of this uh, thing. And then uh, I left, made some money at uh, working for a claim out in Long Island who sure, did Mortal I know Kombat. Sure, yeah. Glenn Cove. Glenn Cove. Yep. Yeah. And uh, started a distribution company. Uh, grew that and sold that to Take-Two Interactive and was president of Take-Two Interactive uh, Distribution and on their board of directors for a few years. And Acclaim made one of the best games ever, WWF. Yeah, WWF yes. was a big game. Huge Hulk game Hogan versus on. the big boss yeah. man in the steel yeah. cage. That was a big one. Let me tell you something, brother. NBA Jam was yeah. another good one. That was an Acclaim yeah. game? Yeah. It was? Yeah. Oh, I love playing that yeah. on my phone now, but I used to play it in the yeah. arcades. He's on fire <laughs> from downtown. <laughs> yes. and, Mortal, and Mortal Kombat's coming back 20 years later Is now. it really yeah. coming back? Well, yeah. that was a great game. What yeah. happened to Acclaim? They just disappeared. Yeah, they, you know, just uh, one of the casualties of that transition from being the wild, wild west to video games to being a business, right? And they, you know, yeah. made some big bets that didn't pay off. They had that huge green screen studio downstairs yeah. in that facility, motion capture motion studio. Cap but it was one of the first. That's what they were using for yeah. the wrestling game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. Spent that. a lot of time in there. I, I I got a chance to see it several times doing uh, news reports on it and, and on oh, a plane. Cool. Yeah, it was very yeah. cool. They, they were you know they were cutting edge yes. early on. For We've sure. had uh, Brian Shields on several times. Brian wrote the WWE encyclopedia. Okay. And uh, he works for the WWE now. He was working for Acclaim on that game. That's how. Oh, it really? Yeah. Anyway, so then and then you started this. This is uh, well, eventually. Well, yeah, there, there were a few other right. endeavors in between. Petsy.com is that the deal? It, it prepped me for this. Everything got me ready to do this. This is really awesome. I'm Petsy. very impressed. Petsy.com. P-E-T-Z-I.com. Petsy.com. Uh, it'll be available on Amazon. You can pre-order pre -order now. on Amazon today and ships the 15th. I can't wait to get. It. We got to show this off regularly in the studio. What I think we could do is we could set one of these up and and, and put it somehow get it into the system. We can go to the Nikki Cam. There you go. Yeah, I'll there. make sure. That you get one. Oh, we got to do it. Yes, <laughs> we got to do it. There you go, Dave from Petsy, Petsy.com. You can check them out on Amazon. Don't even wait because you don't want this thing to be sold out. Let your dog have a great summer. It, it could probably work for cats too because, you know, it's, it'll take these small treats. So have some fun. Go to Petsy.com, Amazon.com if you want to pre order, and you can find out more on Petsy.com. That's Dave. He's awesome. I'm Michael. This is your live continuing coverage of CE Week 2015. 
By the way, another cool product that I'm just loving is the Power Go Go. I've talked about it to death here, but uh, it's amazing. So check it out, powergogo.com. You want to pre-order, or you want to put your name on that subscribe list so that you can get uh, the early, early, early bird price. Uh, that's what you want to do now, because in a month they're going to do their, uh, their, their crowdfunding campaign. All right, we'll be back with a whole lot more right after this on your live continuing coverage of CE Week on Be Terrific. Don't go anywhere.